So this morning I did a, um, a 30 minute um, meditation. I'm going to record, well, I'm going to redo what I did this morning and just record it because I think it will be a really helpful thing for everybody to do whenever they can. Um, it was really a clearing and a cleansing and a protecting guided meditation just for the times that we're in. And one of the things that I was sharing is that in this in the space that we're all finding ourselves in, um, we're <clears throat> really in a space of having to let go of all the things outside and really come back to ourselves and really come back to like who we are, not just who we are as individuals, but who we are collectively as humans. And so I pulled a card um, to share with everybody before we did the meditation and I just wanted to share it here. <clears throat> it's a um, postcards from spirit card and it says, dearest you, let us ask you, are you looking for happiness outside of your everyday moment to moment experience thinking you will find happiness out there someday? So many go chasing a magic it out there, but it never could be found there. So we want to share a secret that shouldn't be a secret. You are pure joy. What made you is pure joy. And every time you wake up and even when you sleep, you have joy waiting to be expressed inside you. Joy and happiness and fulfillment, fullness come from doing joy, being joy, knowing it, cultivating it, and lighting it in your heart so you can share it. You must know this so when the time comes, you will be fully free and your joyful being and actions will turn you into a beacon of starlight. Look within and be joyful even for tears and loss for they mean you have lived, really lived. Jump into it all and love every minute. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because I felt like it's such a perfect such a perfect message for where we are today. So as we get started with our practice today, if you want to find yourself a comfortable seat, you can either um, sit up, right? Or if it feels more comfortable for you to lie down and be in Shavasana, you can lie down and be in Shavasana. And we're just gonna spend a few minutes tuning in and connecting in with our breath. So wherever you have landed and found yourself, just close your eyes and tune out all of the things outside of you for a moment and just feel your inhales coming in through your nose. Feel your lungs expanding, feel your belly expanding. And as you exhale, feel the air leaving your body, feel your lungs compressing in. And then take a slow and deep inhale through your nose. Hold when you get to the top and then let out an open mouth exhale. Sighing it all out. A slow and deep inhale through your nose. Hold at the top and let out an open mouth exhale. Just continuing here to slow down your breath to Tune in and connect in, slowing way down, and just feeling that connection, feeling that point of connection within yourself, within you, and maintaining that, and really feeling into that as we flow through our practice today. We'll start with some more subtle movements in our body, and then we'll incorporate deeper movements and then we'll just keep getting deeper and then we'll rewind and slow it back down. And then we'll end with eight minutes of silent meditation together. 
And so as you continue to just slow down and tune in, I invite you to just consider what this time, what opportunity this time is allowing you, the opportunity to go within, the opportunity to be within. Um, life has really kind of taken away all the outside distractions for us right now so we're really left in a space of just connecting in with who we really are and so wherever you have found yourself find your way to a comfortable seat if you're not already there and i invite you to continue closing down your eyes and just feeling into this breath to movement exercise that we're going to do. If it's comfortable for you, if it's not, you can obviously open your eyes, but if it feels okay for you, I invite you to just keep your eyes closed. Bring your palms down by your hips, down by your sides. And as you inhale, slowly lift your arms up and overhead. And exhale, arms come slowly back down by your sides. Continuing at your own pace, inhales, rise your arms up and overhead. And exhales, bring your palms back down, slowly down by your hips. Inhale, arms up overhead. And moving slowly so that at the top of your inhale, your arms reach up overhead and then slowly exhale. And your arms just slowly moving down as you exhale so that at the bottom of your exhale, your arms reach the floor. Inhale, arms reach up. And exhale, arms come back down by your side. Inhale, arms reach up. And exhale, arms down by your sides. Inhale, arms reach up. This time as you exhale, twist open to your left. So your right arm is out in front, your left arm is back. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist open to your right. Your left arm reaches in front, right arm reaches back. Inhale, back to center. Exhale to your left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale to your right. Inhale back to center. This time as you exhale, your left palm comes down by your left hip. Right arm reaches up and over for a side body twist. Inhale back to center. Exhale, your right palm comes down by your right hip. Left arm reaches up and over. Inhale back to center. Left arm comes down by your left hip. Right arm reaches up and over. Inhale back to center. Exhale, right palm, right hip. Left arm reaches. Inhale back to center. And exhale, palms to touch, hands come down to your heart center. As you inhale, tip your fingertips forward and reach forward as if you're swimming, like diving into a pool. Exhale, part your palms, shift back, your arms come out to your sides like a T. Inhale, your arms up. Exhale, palms to touch, 
hands to heart center. Inhale, fingertips forward and reach. Exhale, part your palms, arms come out by your sides like a T. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, palms to touch, hands to heart center. One more time, just like that. Inhale, fingertips forward, arms reach. Exhale, part your palms, arms come out by your sides. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, palms to touch, hands to heart center. And in this space, I invite you to close down your eyes if they're not already closed. And I invite you to set an intention for your practice for this time that we're here together. And then whenever you are ready, meet me in a neutral tabletop. So your palms come underneath your shoulders. I'm gonna move my mat back a little bit. Palms come underneath your shoulders, knees come underneath your hips. We'll do a few rounds of cat cow here. So as you inhale, drop your belly. Your belly comes down towards the, the floor. Tailbone up, chin up. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your tailbone, tuck your chin. Inhale, cow, belly drops, tailbone lifts, chin lifts, gazes up. Exhale, cat, round your spine. Really press through your palms. Tuck your chin. Inhale, lower your belly. And exhale, round your spine. Coming back to a neutral tabletop here. Exhale. Reach your left leg behind you and your right arm out in front of you. Your thumb faces up towards the sky. Inhale here and exhale. Bring your knee to your elbow, round through your spine. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, re-extend. As you exhale, keep your leg lifted. Bring your palm back down. Bring your left foot over to your right side. Bring your toes down to the earth and then look over your right shoulder at your back toes. Inhale back to center and exhale, bring your knee back down to the earth. Reach your right leg behind you, really pressing that heel into whatever is behind you. Reach your left arm out in front of you, thumb faces up. Inhale here and exhale, round your spine, bring your knee to your elbow. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, place your palm back down. Keep your leg up. Bring your right leg over to your left. Place your toes on the earth and then look over your left shoulder. Looking at your back toes.
Inhale back to center. And then exhale, bring your knee back down. Tuck your toes under. Place your palms, one palm print ahead of where they're at. And then as you exhale, lift your hips up to the sky, pressing back for down dog. This is our first time here. So taking any movements that might feel good in your body. Really kind of walking, pedaling out your feet, walking out your feet, bringing one knee into your chest and then the other. It may feel good to drop both heels over to one side and then bring both heels over to the other side. Coming back to stillness, coming back to center. And inhale, look forward. And exhale, step forward, bringing your feet behind your wrists, keeping your feet at hips distance apart, coming into ragdoll pose. Your palms can stay planted on the earth or palms can reach for opposite elbows. Palms can come behind your calves here. And wherever you have landed, I invite you to let your head hang, let go of the muscles in your neck, let go of the muscles in your upper back. Really letting go, relaxing into this. Put a lot of bend in your knees so that your torso and your chest can just drape over your upper thighs. <clears throat> it may feel good to shake your head no and then shake your head yes. <clears throat> and then coming back to stillness here bringing your palms to the earth. Inhale for a halfway lift, bringing your palms to your shins, your back is flat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, slowly rise all the way up. Arms reach up and overhead. Exhale. Cactus your arms. Inhale, arms reach up. And exhale, palms to heart center. Palms to touch, hands to heart center. Close down your eyes here. And just tune in and reconnect with yourself. Reconnect with your breath here. <clears throat> Just really tuning back in, seeing where your breath is at with that movement that we just did. And then inhale, arms reach up and overhead. Exhale, hinge at your hips and fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step your left foot back, bring your left knee down to the earth. And then inhale, arms reach up and overhead. You might wanna walk your front foot forward just a little bit. As you exhale, bring your palms to touch, hands to heart center. And then inhale, fingertips reach forward, arms reach forward, lunging into that front leg. Exhale, part your palms, shifting back. Inhale, reach up and overhead. Exhale, palms to touch, hands to heart center. Inhale, fingertips forward and reach, lunging into that front knee. Exhale, part your palms, shift back. Inhale, arms reach up. 
Exhale, palms to touch, hands to heart center. One more time, inhale, fingertips forward and reach, lunging into that front leg. Exhale, shift back. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, palms to touch, hands to heart center. Inhale here. And exhale, plant your palms on either side of your front foot. Bring your front foot back to meet your back, coming into high plank. Option to lower to your knees. And as you exhale, slowly lower all the way down to the earth. Coming down to the earth here, your palms are underneath your shoulders. Legs are zipped up as one. Tops of your feet pressing firmly into the earth. Inhale, lift your chest up off of the earth. Little to no weight in your hands reaching the crown of your head forward and inhale see if you can lift a little higher exhale lower all the way back down inhale tabletop and exhale down dog inhale your left leg high three-legged dog Exhale, your left foot between your palms. Bring your back knee down. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, palms together, hands to heart center. Inhale, fingertips forward and reach, lunging into that front leg. Exhale, part your palms, shift back. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, palms to touch, hands to heart center. Inhale, fingertips forward and reach, lunging into that front leg. Exhale, part your palms, shift back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, palms to touch, hands to heart center. One more time, fingertips forward and reach. Exhale, part your hands, shift back. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, palms to touch, hands to heart center. Inhale here. And exhale, plant your palms. This time your back foot comes forward to meet your front, coming into a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms reach up and overhead. Exhale, cactus your arms. Inhale, arms reach up. And exhale, palms to touch, hands to heart center. Reuniting, reconnecting with your breath here. Really tuning back in, feeling the breath, feeling where you're at with your breath, feeling into your left hip and your right, and just observing and feeling, noticing any sensations. Inhale, arms reach up. And exhale, hinge at your hips, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step your right foot back. Bring your back knee down. Inhale, arms reach up. And exhale, palms to touch, hands to heart center. Inhale. Arms reach forward, lunging into that front leg. Exhale, part your hands, shift back. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, palms to touch, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms reach forward. 
Exhale, part your palms, shift back. Inhale, reach. Exhale, palms to touch, hands to heart center. Inhale, tip the fingertips forward and reach. Exhale, part your palms, shift back. Inhale, reach. Exhale, palms to touch, hands to heart center. Inhale here. Exhale, plant your palms. Step your front foot back to meet your back, coming into a high plank. Option to lower to your knees. And exhale slowly, lower all the way down to your belly. Palms come down by your sides. Palms come to the earth, palms face the earth. Palms are at your hips. Legs are zipped up together as one. And as you inhale, lift everything up off of the earth. Toes point to the back. Fingertips reach back. Crown of your head reaches forward. Your chin is tucked. Gaze is down forward. And on your next inhale, see if you can lift a little higher. Exhale. Come down, plant your palms under your shoulders. Inhale, come up to tabletop. And exhale, down dog. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale your right foot between your palms. Bring your back knee down. Inhale, arms reach up. And exhale, palms to touch, hands to heart center. Inhale, fingertips reach forward, lunging forward into that front leg. Exhale, part your palms, shift back. Inhale, reach. Exhale, palms to touch, hands to heart center. Inhale, fingertips forward and reach. Exhale, part your palms, shift your weight back. Inhale, reach. Exhale, palms to touch, hands to heart center. Inhale here. And exhale, plant your palms. Bring your back foot forward to meet your front, coming into a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms reach up and overhead. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, reach. Exhale, palms to touch, hands to heart center. Close down your eyes here. And again, tuning back in, tuning back into your breath, tuning back into your left hip, tuning into your right hip, feeling into any sensations that have come up for you. Inhale, arms reach up and overhead. Exhale, hinge at your hips, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms. Step your feet back, coming into high plank. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Option here, lower to your knees. And as you exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Pressing up, your chest comes through your forearms, through your biceps. And exhale, back to down dog. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, your left foot between your palms. And inhale, rotate your back foot down, rising up for warrior two. Setting up our foundation here. Your front foot is straight. Your back foot is parallel with the back edge of your mat. 
your front heel is either in line with your back heel or it's bisecting or intersecting um, the arch of your back foot. Your front knee is at a 90 degree angle. Your front knee is drawing out towards your pinky toe. And pretend that you have a block in between your thighs, your inner thighs, and you're hugging that block together. So you're really grounding through equally both feet and then you're hugging your inner thighs in. So we're really igniting our entire legs here. And then our arms reach out equally in opposite directions. <clears throat> our shoulders are relaxed. They're away from our ears. Gaze is slightly over our front middle finger. And as we inhale here, we're going to straighten our front leg. Exhale. Inhale. Reach your fingertips forward. Reach your back hip back. And exhale, slowly bring your left palm down. Your right arm reaches up. Your left palm can gently rest on your front, your front shin. If you have any blocks at home, your palm can come, your left palm can come to the block that's gonna be on the outside of your front foot. Or if it's available in your body, you can bring your fingertips down to the earth. So you might want to have a little micro bend in your front knee just to avoid hyperextending. And then when you're here, really lean into bringing your chest up towards the ceiling. Your gaze can be up. Keeping your lower half exactly as it is. On your next inhale, sweep your upper body up and back for reverse triangle. Your right palm gently rests on your back thigh. Your left arm is reaching up and back, more up than back here. And if it's comfortable for you, close down your eyes and then slowly Begin to bend into that front knee for reverse warrior. Really feeling into the 90 degree angle in your front knee, feeling into drawing that knee towards your pinky. <clears throat> Taking an inhale here. And as you exhale, come back to warrior two. Straightening that front leg again. And then all 10 toes point towards, towards this way. <laughs> I don't know what way that is for you. <laughs> um, so <clears throat> we're reaching here. We're gonna take our heels and we're gonna bring our heels in so that they're in facing each other. And then our toes are going to be pointed towards the corners of our mat. So our feet are really at a 45 degree angle here. <laughs> Slight bend in our knees, bringing our palms to touch at our heart center. And then you're welcome to stay here if you want to create more heat, more of a challenge, coming down into a goddess squat. So really bending into that squat here. And then we're gonna add in our hand movements. So take in an inhale, tip your fingertips forward and reach your arms forward. Exhale, part your palms, bring your arms back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, palms to touch, hands to heart center. Inhale, fingertips forward and reach. Exhale, part your palms, come back. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, palms to touch, hands to heart center. Inhale, lift everything up, coming into star pose. And as you exhale, coming back to the front of your mat, to the top of your mat, 
your fingertips come down, your back knee comes down, palms come to the inside of your left foot, heel toe your left foot over to the edge of your mat, your heel is on the mat, your toes are off the mat, toes are at a 45 degree angle coming into runner's lunge, and you can stay on your palms here, or if it's available, if you have a block, <laughs> you can place your forearms on a block, or if you can, your forearms can come down to the mat. Coming into <clears throat> runner's lunge, and whenever you have settled into where you want to be for your stretch, see if you can let go of your neck. Really letting go, relaxing in, really settling into this stretch here. Feeling the stretch in both hips, but really feeling it in your right hip. Coming back to your palms, wherever you have landed, tucking your back toes. And as you inhale, bring your front foot back to meet your back for high plank. <clears throat> Exhale here in plank. And inhale, shift your weight forward, lower to your knees if you need. And then flow through your chaturanga. So lower as you exhale, halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, back to down dog. <clears throat> Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, step your right foot between your palms. As you inhale, rotate your back foot down, rise up, warrior two. Creating our foundation on this side. <clears throat> your front foot is straight and your front heel is either coming towards your back heel or it's intersecting with your back arch. Your back foot is parallel with the back edge of your mat. Your front knee is at a 90 degree angle. Your front knee is drawing out towards your pinky. And again, pretending there's that block here. And so we're really hugging our inner thighs together. So just noticing what it feels like when you don't do that and then really igniting those inner thighs, really igniting the whole life here. We're really engaging. And then our arms come out equally in opposite directions. Our shoulders are relaxed down and away from our ears. And on your next inhale, straighten that front leg and then reach the fingertips forward, back hip kick, kicks back. And exhale, bring the right palm down to the right shin. Left arm reaches up. Coming into triangle pose. Again, that right palm gently resting on the right shin. If you have a block, bring it to the outside of your right foot, placing that palm on the block, or maybe your fingertips can come down to the earth. And wherever you've landed, reach up through your left arm. Your chest is really opening up towards the ceiling. Really lifting here, micro bend in that front knee to avoid hyperextending. Keeping your lower body as is. On an inhale, sweep your arms up and back for reverse triangle. Your left palm gently resting on your back thigh, that right arm reaching up 
and back, really creating the side body stretch here, really feeling that. And then if it's comfortable for you, close down your eyes and slowly bend into that front knee, really drawing that front knee out towards your pinky and feeling into where that 90 degree angle is here. And then as you exhale, coming to warrior two. And then inhale, straighten that front leg, bringing your toes this way now, <laughs> whatever direction this is. Um, and again, our heels are coming in towards one another. Our toes are pointed up towards the corner edges of our mat, so our feet are at a 45 degree angle. Slight bend in each of our knees. Palms come together. <clears throat> Welcome to stay here. And then if you want to add more challenge, come back into that goddess squat. And then as you inhale, tip your fingertips forward and reach. Exhale, part your palms, shift back. Inhale, arms reach up and overhead. Exhale, palms to touch, hands to heart center. Inhale, fingertips forward and reach. Exhale, part your palms, shift back. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, palms to touch, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up into star pose. Exhale, shift everything back towards the top of your mat. Bring your palms down, back knee comes down. Palms to the inside of your front foot. Heel toe your front foot over to the edge of your mat. Heel on the mat, toes off. Your foot is at a 45 degree angle, coming into runner's lunge on this side. And again, stay on your palms. Bring your forearms to a block if you have a block. Bring your forearms down to the earth. That's available. Wherever you have found yourself really close down your eyes, feel into the sensations of your left hip and your right. Let your head hang heavy here. And wherever you have found yourself, come back to your palms. Tuck your back toes. Inhale, come bring your front foot back, coming into high plank. Exhale here, staying in high plank. Inhale, shift forward, option to lower to your knees. Exhale, slowly lower halfway to chaturanga. Elbows stay in. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, down dog. This will be our last down dog of practice. So <clears throat> taking whatever movements you need here, anything that your body is asking for. And then coming back to stillness, inhale, look forward, and exhale, step all the way through, coming down to a seat. Whew. I don't know about you guys, but it is hot up in here. Okay, so soles of your feet on the earth, reaching forward with your fingers, 
Taking an inhale here, really reaching through your crown. And as you exhale, slowly lower all the way down to the earth. Slowly coming down. I always tell people in my classes, the last one down wins. Although I don't know what they ever win. <laughs> so as you have arrived here, Bring your knees into your chest. <clears throat> Bring your palms to your shins and slowly sway from side to side. Coming to stillness, bring your arms out to your sides like a T, palms resting on the earth, really grounding into the earth here. Inhale, and as you exhale, slowly bring your knees all the way down to your left. It's really important here that the shoulders stay on the earth. So maybe backing out of the twist if that's necessary for your body or using something that you can place underneath your knees, bringing the earth closer to you. Really breathing, closing down your eyes here and breathing into your low back. Really breathing into this twist. Sending the breath down your whole spine down to your tailbone. And on your next inhale, bring your knees back to center. And then exhale slowly, bring your knees over to your right. And again, making sure that both shoulders are resting on the earth here. Maybe placing something underneath your knees. Maybe you have a cardboard box. If you have a child at home, you could have your child come and hold your knees up. <laughs> Incorporate them into your practice. Really breathing into your low back. Closing down your eyes, tuning into your body, just feeling any sensations that your body has created. And when you feel balanced and complete, inhale your knees back to center. And coming into happy baby, taking the soles of your feet and basically placing them on the ceiling as if you were standing on the ceiling, keeping your knees bent, bringing your palms to the inside of your feet. And really pressing into your feet, really drawing your knees into your armpits. And at the same time, really pressing into your spine and put your awareness into your tailbone and press your tailbone into your yoga mat. Like all of your awareness in that spot. Also tucking your chin so that your whole back of your neck is pressing into your yoga mat. So really focusing on your entire spine on the yoga mat and really pressing that tailbone into the earth. It may feel good here to roll all the way over to one side and then reach that foot out as wide, as straight as you can. And then slowly coming back to center and then slowly lower all the way down to the other side Stretching that leg out. And then slowly coming back to center. Taking any other 
movements here that might feel good. And then when you feel complete in your happy baby, release your feet, bring your knees back into your chest, your palms resting on your shins, your head comes up towards your knees, really tucking into a tiny little ball, giving each of your knees a loving kiss in deep gratitude that your physical body has been able to flow through this practice. And then take in the deepest inhale you've taken all day. Hold at the top. And as you exhale, let everything go coming into your Shavasana, letting go of your legs, letting go of your arms. Your feet can come out wide to the wide edges of your mat, letting your toes tip over to the sides, bringing your palms down, really allowing yourself to take up as much space as feels good. Bring your shoulders underneath your back, getting your shoulders away from your ears. Your palms can be face up to be in receiving mode or palms can press into the earth if you're feeling like you want and need to be more grounded. Closing down your eyes here and just tuning back in. Tuning back into your body, tuning back into your breath. Coming back to the intention that you set for this practice and then letting it go, letting everything go and allowing yourself to melt into this space. And I will come back for you when it's time.
I invite you to continue resting in your Shavasana. And if you feel ready to add movement back into your body, you can begin wiggling your toes, wiggling your fingers, maybe rolling out your ankles, rolling out your wrists. It may feel good to reach your arms up and overhead, interlacing your fingers. Pointing your toes to the front and just really taking in a big full body stretch here. Really reaching. And then whenever you feel ready and complete, bring your knees into your chest. Bring your palms to your shins. Maybe Rock gently from side to side, giving your spine one last massage here. And then whenever you're ready, slowly roll over to one side to fetal pose. And whichever you side you have chosen, taking that same arm and reaching it up and overhead, using that arm as a pillow for your head. This is the pose of rebirth, the pose of new beginnings. So really breathing that in, really feeling into this idea and this feeling of, of newness, of a new time. We're entering into a new season. This is springtime. You know, all of the trees are coming back to life, all of the flowers are coming back to life. And we're also entering into a really weird and new time as humans. So really feeling into the exploration of the newness that is before us. Whenever you feel complete here, press yourself up into a comfortable seat. And whenever you find yourself at your comfortable seat, close down your eyes, bring your palms together to heart center. Press the knuckles of your thumbs firmly into your chest, feeling your life force energy within you, feeling your heart beating, feeling your chest rise and fall with your breath. It has been an honor and a pleasure to be with you guys today and to be in this beautiful practice of yoga. It's always such a great reminder of what's really important. So thank you for showing up. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through your practice. The light within me honors, sees, reflects, and loves the light within each and every one of us. Namaste.